Hey Vanna, I'm Arbozi and welcome back to Let's Play Endless Legend. So, let's continue where we left off. I actually think my faction quest is about to update. They want to pacify villages in this region. Because I just did that. Yeah, it did update. So, next step is to inspect the temple ruin. In this exact region. And we'll get the roads of dust. Plus 8 production on city, that's not bad. That's an item for a hero. Yeah, that's the temple ruin right here. In our region. I can actually do it on this exact turn. So let's do it. And we got Rose of Dust. That cost 55 dust. Not too bad. Doesn't require any resources. Alright. So next step is what? Make sure you have an Ardent Mage's hero in your empire. Alright. Equip them with the Roads of Dust manuscript and assign them to an army. Alright, I guess I'll do that then. So it might be time to reassign this hero to the city. But that won't really do a whole lot because I can't get trade routes yet. I'll get a little bit of extra dust I suppose. But let's see. I can search the ruin one more time. And we found nothing, okay. So. What now? Let's explore the general area. My next city is going to be in this region. Because I have a quest to settle that region. Or was it a different region? Otarla. Yeah, that's the exact region. So I will be settling that. But first, I actually need more influence. Because if I want to complete the third quest. This one. I need... 120 influence in 5 turns because I need economy and population on level 1 with my next empire plan. So yeah, that's going to cost me 120 influence. That means I need to move most of my population to influence for a few turns. Yeah, I'll need to keep that on influence for 5 turns. Otherwise I won't get enough. Alright, we'll do that then. I want to finish that quest. That was a side quest, but that's still something. Hold on. Yeah, this was the one. This one. Classification. Which region was that? Oh yeah, this one. Okay, I'll do it. Right, so let's explore this way. Another minor faction. Another region. And oh yeah. Production. That's the capital city. I should probably get started on a settler. Or I can get one more unit. That definitely won't hurt. I will need a fairly strong military sooner or later. So we're in the second era now. I was actually thinking about the researching Empire Mint. Because I would really like to get that. Either through research or through trade. I could also research this. To be able to sign peace treaty with the AIs and then maybe trade techs with them. I also need some military technologies. So getting better weapons might be useful. I'll need quite a few techs from the second era. And I need to research freelance guards. That's one of the most important techs for the roving clans. That will allow me to actually attack cities without being at war. And as you remember, I can't declare direct war. I can only have other leaders declare war on me. Which might or might not happen. So what do I want first? And I would obviously like to get more science. So maybe we should go for alchemy workshop first. That makes sense. Let's go for alchemy workshop first. Alright. Get another quest for a minor faction. Oh. That's not bad. Well. It's not that great. It's a staff. But plus 60% attack? Yeah, actually this is quite good. What do they want? Cross the sea and search unspoiled ruins. Okay. 
I have no idea where. Can I check where? Which quest was it? This one. Mm, no. Well, that means I need shipyards technology. But I still want alchemy workshop. Okay, I can research shipyard after alchemy workshop. What else? Potential market for approval. I'll probably want the extra simulation slot and I'll need imperial highways. That's kind of important. But shipyard first. Alright, and let's keep exploring. There are quite a few important technologies in the second era. And what's that roaming army? Infantry. I can handle them if they attack me, or I might just attack them myself. Because why not? Anyway, next turn. Seed storage in my second city. It's pretty much done. Oh, winter time. Okay. They attacked me. Let's go for auto. Yep. And our hero leveled up. Let's see. Plus one gold or plus one dust per shade route. Plus 12% unit dust cost reduction on the city. Well, this would be nice, but the problem is this doesn't lead to anything else. And I'll want to get cold operator eventually. So I need fast trader. If I want to get cold operator eventually, I'll need to have fast trader one way or the other. So might as well get it now. Okay, let's get it now. And I think it's time to move her to the city. Yeah, because I'll need to recruit the Ardent Mages hero and assign that hero to an army. So assign her to the capital city. Is that actually going to be useful? Yeah, a little, a little bit. I can't get trade routes yet, but I do have an anomaly in there. Once I get another district, I might pick up the city to grab this anomaly instead. It's a pretty good one for science, but this one is pretty good for production, so yeah. I can get both eventually, but not anytime soon. Right, so finish that dervish and settler. I'm not convinced I should be getting a settler during winter time. Maybe. Well, alright, that's going to take seven turns anyway. So, another ruin right here. Let's check that out. And we got another quest. Level up any district or the city center to level 2. That's easy enough. And the reward is National Museum. Nice. Okay. I was going to do that anyway. So that's a very good quest to have. That's quite a few quests now. Most of them shouldn't be too hard. How many more turns for the Empire plan? Two more turns. I will get enough influence. I need 120, right? Yeah, I need 120. Okay, so I can move my population a bit on the next turn. Since I'll need literally three more. I can remove most of this now. And move it to science and production. Okay. Plus eight per turn is good. This continent is pretty big. Bigger than I thought it will be. Seeing how this map is supposed to have four to six continents. Then yeah, this is big. And I seem to be alone on it so far. Wait, why can I not talk with them? Oh, this is the same region, right. Okay, but there's yet another region to the south. I'm a little bit far away from my city, but that should be okay. So, Dervish on the next turn, and I'll get started on that settler. Hopefully winter will end soon. It will end in 1 to 20 turns. Which is a pretty big spread. Unused resource boosters. Right. Plus ferry approval. I think I'll pass on experience for units for now. Do I need that approval? Yeah, it would be helpful. Okay, let's use it. 
and explore this way. Oh yeah, Empire Plan. So what did I need again? Let's double check. Economy and population. Right. Oh, that's one policy. I thought these are two separate ones. Okay, but I want the plus 20% science anyway. That's kind of important. So I needed that influence one way or the other. Unfortunately, I don't think I'll really take advantage of the extra dust. I wasn't planning to assign any population to dust. I suppose I can assign one or two. I need more population in my city, which I'm about to get. Or can I? Right, not when I'm recruiting the settler. Okay, let's change this. Because this city is about to grow. Yep, on the next turn. Let's get that extra pop then. Come on. There we go. Now I can continue the settler. Like this. Or I can get the district first. Yeah, I should get the district. Now, where do I want that? I could get the district here. And I'll still work towards a level 2 district. And I will get three new tiles. I like this method because this maximizes the tiles that you get. I could also get a district here or so, but then that won't help me with the level 2 district. I need four districts adjacent to this one. So this is the only way to get three new tiles. Which is why I like doing it this way. Let's do it this way. These aren't amazing during winter time, but hopefully winter will end soon. So there's a ruin right here. And we found nothing. Okay. This is a strange looking continent, I have to say. So. Four turns for that settler. How's this city doing? Sisters of Mercy, right, let's get the public library and Titanium Extractor before or after? After the public library and the district is that district any good? kind of I can get some sea tiles coastal tiles, whatever like this these are obviously not amazing right now but they will be better later I will pick this city up eventually, but not yet. Hmm. Well, let's get a district right here then. But after the public library and the titanium extractor. Also, I will get extra pop from that village. Like so. So, move one to science. I need more science. Okay. And keep exploring. I actually want to find more AIs. I only found one. So that's not great. They are hiding somewhere, clearly. Next. Research is done. So that unlocks the alchemy workshop. And we got some level ups. And apparently we got attacked. Okay. Oh, I don't like these guys too much. These are a little bit nasty. Let's do this manually. Okay, let's do this manually. I might lose a unit or two. Especially since I don't have a hero in this army anymore. Well, we'll see. Focus on one at a time. There's not much I can change here. I can attack the closer one. What's their initiative? 24. They will move after me. I can only attack them with two units at a time. At least right now. Okay. And I don't like their chain lightning ability. I might end up losing a unit or two. Yeah, if I had a hero, this would be easier. Hopefully they will get unlucky with their rolls. 24 damage. Okay, 33. Yeah, okay, let's move out of the way here. And change to hold position. 
Yes, you need to move out of the way. Yep, and replace that with something else. This guy can move out of the way too. And move in with the other two units. Sounds good. That's not exactly what I had in mind, actually. And I did zero damage. Not great. What's the order here? Okay, this guy will attack first. This guy should move out. I hope this is going to happen. 33 damage. Is he going to die? He should, unless I do zero damage. Okay, he's dead. Yes, he's dead. Okay, good. And now I can attack with three units at a time. Which might end poorly, but I'm going to do it anyway. Launch. If it goes well, I might not actually lose anything. That would be nice. 17 damage. I need upgrades really badly. Come on. But I also need other technologies really badly. Yeah, prioritizing research is important. Oh, the fight ended. I didn't lose anything, so I'm okay with that. Let's search that ruin then. See if we can find anything. We got another quest. Follow the tracks of the creatures that pillaged the treasure. One of the armies roaming in Aramon has the treasure that you seek, blah blah blah. Find the army. And we'll get 25 wine. And that's the approval. Luxury. Which region is that exactly? Aramon, was it? That's a lot of quests. Yeah, Aramon, so I need to go back. That was what I was going to do anyway. This army might attack me again, but that's okay. So, shipyard next, or maybe I should skip the shipyard for now. I will obviously get it, but it's not that important. I should actually get Imperial Highways. That's such an important technology, especially for the roving clans. I need that ASAP. And winter is over, good. He attacked us again, let's do this manually. To make sure no one dies. So, these guys in the front. This guy's in the back. Okay, you ready? So attack this. And these dudes will just stay back here. Okay, launch. This should be easy unless I get really unlucky with rolls. I would have to do zero damage at least twice. No, he's dead. Easy enough. So let's move. I'll just grab that pacification quest now that winter is over. And my movement doesn't suck. And we'll get an actual reward. Oh yeah, that's the influence. Luxury. Return to this village with an army that contains a minimum of three minor faction units. I can do that eventually. Not right now, but it will happen. Okay, settler will be done on the next turn. That's good. Also, I should move at least... Wait, no, the city won't grow while I'm recruiting the settler, right. Prioritize the district a little bit more. I still need to buy a hero. So, maybe I should assign more pop to dust. Yeah, I actually should. I need more dust if I want to recruit Ardent Major's hero. I'll need four, five hundred dust or so. Population free. Yeah, this city needs some population on dust as well. So one. Okay, what are the yields of these sea tiles? One for the two dust. Yeah, that's decent for now. It's not awful. I can live with that. Alright, let's move. This is a huge continent. Yeah. It stretches from the north all the way to the south. This is the edge of the map. And this is all one continent? Alright. So... Oh yeah, I can't get that anymore. But Alchemy Workshop, I need the Alchemy Workshop. 
let's escort the settler, you know, just in case. And I will settle next to the two anomalies, right next to the border. Not the most optimal city spot, but I can grab two anomalies instantly. So I'm going to do that. The downside is that I won't work all the tiles around the city. But I think it's worth it for these yields. Yeah, these are really good ones. It's just a shame that they are right next to the border. Hmm. What if I settle here? Let's see. This two would give me nine science for food. Maybe it's worth settling here instead. And then I could grab this anomaly eventually. Or I could just settle next to this one. No, I don't think that's worth doing. But I could settle here in the middle of this enchanted forest. Next to the titanium deposit. Or next to the moss pearls. Yeah, right here on this tile. That might be better. Four food, four science, one dust. I think I'll do that then. Okay, I changed my mind then. But these two anomalies are so tempting. But yeah, right now it's better to settle here. I can always pick up the city later. If I decide to do that for some reason. So, seven turns for the workshop. All right. This will also complete the quest and give me 80 dust. How much exactly do I need for that Arded Major's Hero? I need Arded Major's Hero specifically for the quest. Wow. Almost 700. Okay. Is there a cheaper one, maybe? No. Broken Lords. Cultists. Necrophages. Draken. That's the cheapest one. Wow. Exclusive for 15 turns, but still almost 700. I guess we'll be getting 700 then. That was my faction quest, right? Side quest, faction quest. Yeah, that was the faction quest, so that's actually really important. Okay, which exact tile do I want to settle on then? Right here, next to the moss pearls. Or here. If I settle here, I'll miss out on some science, but I'll be able to get Azotic Exotics with my first new district. So I think that's better. I will get slightly more food here. I'll miss out on a little bit of science. Yeah, okay. This location right here. And then I'll grab Azotic Exotics with my first district. I like that plan. It's a good one. The unfortunate part is that I won't get approval from these anomalies. But I wasn't going to get approval from these either, so whatever. Okay. How's this city doing? Four turns. It doesn't need a sewer system yet. Oh yeah, Alchemy Workshop requires titanium. But I'm getting titanium now. So by the time this is done, I should have almost enough. Alright. So we need to save up almost 700 dust. Maybe I'll find more ruins. Oh yeah, I had a quest to defeat some army in Aremon region. Did someone just attack me? No, another empire. Whatever you say. Unthreatening empires. We'll see about that. So, do I need to attack this? But I can't attack them right now. They need to disembark. This was the exact region, though. Might be... This one, or might be both. There's a ruin here, though, so I want to explore that. And let's start that city. So, that's my third city. It will be the last one for now. I might settle one more if I find a really good location. Anyway, this gives me 80 dust. Maintain a minimum of 3 influence in your new city for 5 turns. As in 3 influence per turn. That's easy enough. Well, that requires me to move my only pop to that, but that's fine. 
The city will grow in two turns anyway, so... Alright, we'll do that. Keep these guys in the garrison. Actually, I should maintain a bigger garrison here, because that's more experience for my hero then. So, move these guys back. No one is threatening me right now anyway. I have to wait one turn to move them. Imperial Highways research is done. I'll need to build right of way in my cities now to get trade routes. Also, I need to decide my next research. I will finish the alchemy workshop, obviously. But right of way after that. So what about the research? I need some military techs. As much as I want all these other technologies too. But I need to research some military tech right now. Probably weapons. I have a lot of glass steel. Let's get weapons. That's only six turns. That's not terrible. And attack this guy. That should be easy enough. I'll just do this on auto. And he's dead. There's the ruin. We got yet another quest. Okay. The Legend of the Free. Oh, what's this? That's not bad. 100 sword. These are pretty good stats. Plus 30% attack. Okay, this is pretty good. Only equipable by heroes, but hey. That does require third era strategic resource. Search the temple ruins revealed by rays of dust with a strong infantry hero level 4 minimum. Okay. Well, that won't be happening. Unless I recruit a Necrophage General, which I probably will eventually. But that's a good quest to have. It's not timed, is it? No, it wasn't timed or anything like that. And I'll probably want a Necrophage Hero for my army anyway. So I'll get this eventually. It's not like it's useful until I can get that resource, which is from the Fred era. Okay. So, any changes here? No. Will I finish that other quest? I have so many quests now, it's getting hard to keep track of all of them. More population. Oh yeah, in this city. Also, did this region have any luxuries? Just emeralds. I'll have a lot of emeralds. Yeah. It also has titanium, so that's nice. I should queue that up. After the seed storage, I suppose. Move one. To production. But anyway, I'm going to finish this part here. And continue the next one. So, thanks for watching. And I'll see you again soon.